Thunder Bay police have arrested and charged a 48-year-old city man with two counts of arson in connection with a residential fire in the 200 block of Ambrose Street on January 15th. The fire burned two large piles of garbage outside of the home and spread to the deck and wall around the entrance. No one was hurt. The suspect appeared in bail court today and remains in custody. With the extreme cold persisting, we continue to check in on shelters and warming centers across town that have been providing life-saving protection from the conditions. Here's Mike Lang on how Elevate's Warming Center on Cumberland is doing their part in trying to keep people off the streets. Around 100 people rely on Elevate's Warming Center every winter day to provide them with a comfortable and heated space, especially on days like today when there are wind chills below minus 20. They also offer clothing, warm meals, snacks, and internet access so they can connect with family or other services that can assist them. Executive Director Holly Gauvin says it acts as a lifeline for those who need it most. What's unique about our services is that we also have health care attached to it, uh, and so we can often connect people up uh, with those other additional services that they need. Uh, and we're also part of the homeless response uh, uh, team here in Thunder Bay and connect people up with housing resources as well. It's one of the only places on in Port Arthur that's a warming center where they feed you where, you know, they give you mitts, clothes, everything. It's, it's very important that we have this center. And uh, how have they helped you? Personally? Everything. Uh, coats, boots, gloves, a job. It's a very good place, yeah. Elevate allows up to 12 people at a time into their warming center on a rotational basis to minimize the spread of COVID and other illnesses and to maximize its access to as many people as possible. But despite Elevate's best efforts, Gauvin says there are still up to 10 people on record that are residing in tents amid the extreme cold. Well, it's a really awful situation for the folks that are that are out there. It's also a very scary thing uh, for, for all of our frontline staff and all of our organizations who are responding to this crisis. Uh, every day you don't know uh, what you're going to find. Uh, and that's a really uh, sobering thought for people. Elevate's harm reduction housing plan can offer more permanent housing to those in need, but there's a fluctuating wait list for those services. In the meantime, Gauvin calls on support from the community to continue helping them with keeping people warm. We're all pulling in the same direction. We're all trying to do our best to help support people. Uh, so continue, continue to go through your closets, find us those blankets, find us those that winter gear that might help, uh, help save a life. Uh, help us with uh, with warm clothing uh, and with food rations. You know, these things are all really, really helpful uh, and keep people going during a really difficult time in their life. Mike Lang, TBT News.